<laughs> and we're, <laughs> we're back. Can you, <laughs> I hope you guys can hear us now. I have no idea why our audio wasn't working. Yeah. The last time it wasn't working, I, I had the mic muted, but uh, it, it was unmuted and it wasn't working. Mm -mm. So we restarted the whole thing and hopefully you can hear us now. Can they hear us? Let's see. Well, we'll give it a second to make sure. Can you hear them? <laughs> can you hear them? <laughs> Yes, okay. It's working. Oh, oh they're just saying it's yes. working. They're oh. saying hello. I can hear. Oh, it feels so bad. We wanted to start right at 5 o'clock so that you guys, I know you guys have probably been waiting for us and you've got your markers and your paper ready to start drawing. So I apologize. It took so long to get that started and up and running. We're new at this and yeah. we're always going to have little mistakes here and there. Because it's live, we, we can't plan for everything. But please be patient with us. We'll try and get this down a little bit better. All right, so we're ready to start, right? Yeah. But before we before we start drawing, we wanted to spotlight one of our awesome art friends, Isabella. Check out her drawing, dude. What did she draw? She did a scorpion. She drew, yeah, she drew a scorpion, and I love it. I love how well she colored the whole paper. She filled in the background. She added a giant sun in the corner and a cool little tree. What did she draw on the very top of the scorpion? Can a you tell? Bow. A bow, yeah. She added a cute little bow to her scorpion. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> so congratulations, Isabella, on being our spotlight for this uh, for this lesson. Now, what are we drawing today? We're drawing a chinchilla. Yeah, we're going to draw a really cute chinchilla. Hope you're excited and you got your art supplies ready. We're going to use a marker, some paper, and color colored colorings. Pencils. Yeah, color pencils. <laughs> color Colorings. <laughs> now we're going to use light gray or just a regular gray, a dark gray, and also a pink. You ready to get started? Yeah. Got your marker ready? Yeah. All right. If we ever go too fast, what can our friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, you guys can always pause the video even when we're live. You can pause it and rewind it if you need to. All right, let's get started. The first step is we're going to draw our chinchilla's eye in the top left of our paper. So right about here, we're going to draw a circle and it's about this size. Chinchillas have huge, nope. whoops, sorry, I drew on you. Right about here, they have massive, big, cute little eyes. Good job. All right, now we're going to add a light reflection in his eye. We're going to draw a smaller circle in the top right. Yeah. Now, we, if you want, you can add even another smaller circle in there to make his eyes look really shiny. Then we're going to color in the big circle, but leave these two little circles white. Yeah, this is so awesome. I love drawing live. We yeah. it's our favorite thing to do is draw with each other, but it's also our favorite thing to draw with our art friends. And this is so cool to draw live. All right, now we're gonna draw the front of our chinchilla's head. So right here, we're gonna start above the eye. And we're gonna draw this big curve. We're gonna start here. We're gonna draw this big curve that comes down. And we don't want to go too far because then he's gonna have this big giant head. You could probably come a little further. Come down right about. Right about here, maybe. Yes, okay, now we're gonna draw his nose. We're gonna draw a V, a super small V, right here at the very end. That's his cute little nose. And then we're coming out of the, the V, we're gonna turn it into a Y shape. We're gonna draw, look at this, kind of a U shape. Yeah, yeah. Now, let's finish. So this line that comes down here, let's finish this into his mouth into that letter U. And then that's kind of the end of his nose. Isn't that a simple way? Yeah. To draw Chinchilla's face. <laughs> and we're gonna draw his chubby cheeks. We're gonna draw another line that comes out right here and back. Chinchillas are these crazy animals. If you've never seen them before, they look like a cross between a mouse. rabbit and a giant mouse. Yes. Yeah, yeah, they look like giant mi mice. Now, let's draw the top of our Chinchilla's head. So right here, we're gonna draw a curve that comes back. We don't want to go too far. We're going to draw the ear next. So right here, we can draw a line that kind of comes back to there. Perfect. Yeah. Now let's draw their ears. And they have these big, huge ears. So we're going to draw this line. So we're going to start inside of his head. We're going to come out, around, and then back in. Yeah. <laughs> now let's draw the inside of his ear. We're going to draw a shape that comes from the inside, it comes inside and then down. So it starts on the outside, comes in and then down. Then we're gonna curve back around and connect to the other side. 
I know you guys are leaving a lot of comments. It's so cool to see all of these comments. It's difficult for us to get to them while we're drawing. So towards the end, when we're coloring our chinchilla, we'll try to make sure to answer a lot of your questions and, and some of your comments. All right, let's keep going. We're going to draw the other ear so that he looks 3D. We're going to draw a line that comes out of the front of his head. And we don't want to go too much higher than the other ear. Yeah. And then we're going to curve back down. And it looks different because this ear is turned to the side. <laughs> I, like, I like how your ear curls, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's cute. I like it. It's perfect. <laughs> All right. Now let's draw, let's draw his chest or his neck. It's going to come out of his mouth right here. We're just going to draw a short line coming down. And they also stand, sometimes they look like they're standing like kangaroos. So they, we're going to draw their chubby front, front arms. We're going to draw a U, letter U. And then we're going to draw another U, but it's going to be longer and it's going to come out of this one. So we're going to come down and then back in. There's this first little arm. Now let's draw a second arm. We're going to draw this shape, but we're only drawing part of it because it's behind the first one. Yeah, and then let's finish and draw. It's almost like a letter J, and we're using overlapping to make him look 3D. Good job, man. Now let's draw a couple lines for his fingers. I'm just going to draw two little lines right here on the end, and maybe just one on the other hand. <laughs> All right, now let's draw his belly. We're going to draw a chubby little belly, and it's just a short little curve that comes out. So we want to pretend like his neck is going behind his arm and then coming out the bottom. Now let's draw his leg. We're going to draw it bent so he's sitting on his hind legs. We're going to draw this big sideways U. So we're going to start here and we're going to come in, touch his belly, and then come back this way. Look at that. Sideways. Looks like a sideways U. Now we're going to come up here. We're going to draw his back and it's going to come down and connect to his, the, the bottom leg. So we're going to start here and we're going to come all the way down. And then we're going to curve and connect into that bottom U. <laughs> I love how chubby your chinchilla looks, man. Chubby chinchilla. Yeah, he looks like he's had a good dinner. <laughs> yeah, a really good dinner. <laughs> and it's okay that our drawings look different, right? Yeah. We say it every single time, and that's because the most important thing is... To have fun. Yes, to have fun and to... Practice. Practice. And that goes the same for you guys at home. If your drawings look different than ours, it's okay. Because I hope you're having fun and remember to practice. All right, now let's draw his bottom leg. We're going to draw this big foot that comes out, curves around, and back in. Yeah. Now let's draw his second back leg. We're going to draw another curve right next to it. It's a lot like we did for his front legs. Then we're going to draw his foot coming out further and then back in also. Cool. All right, now let's draw his little toes. We're going to draw curved lines. I'm going to draw two up towards the front. And then you can draw another one back here. They kind of have these small little toes on the back. And then let's just, I can add, you can add two here or one if you only have room for one. And we did it. Okay, he's missing one, one last thing. What is it? Uh, it's toe. Yeah, it's toe. So we're going to draw, we're kind of running out of room. I am. You have plenty of room. We're going to start right here. We're going to draw, draw a zigzag line. And as we draw that zigzag line, we're going to curve up. It looks like a curved lightning bolt. Yeah. Good. Now we're going to draw a big zigzag line coming back. And look at this. I'm going to go off the page. That's okay because I want to draw a bushy tail. So you have plenty of room. Just keep going. I'm going to imagine it going off the page, coming back, and then connecting into the bottom. <laughs> All right, I said we were missing one last thing, but we're still missing his whiskers. So let's draw a short one, curve, curving down, and we're going to draw a longer one, and then another short one. And then we can draw three more on the other cheek. On his right side, we're going to draw a curve, and we can draw a longer one, and then a short one. And we did it, man. Good job. Your chinchilla looks perfect. I love it. Now, we still need to color them, right? Yes. Okay, so we're first going to start with our gray colored pencil. We have our, we have our gray colored pencil. It's just a regular gray. 
And then we also have this darker gray. It probably looks black on your screen. But we're first going to start with the gray. And we want to draw short. We're going to go back and forth with short strokes. So watch this. I'm going to start right here on his forehead. And I'm going to go back and forth. And that's because chinchillas have short fur. Yeah. So if you do really long... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you do really long strokes, then your chinchilla will look like it has super long hair. And we're going to do that on the tail. But for his head, now we're going to go up and we're going to do a little bit more. And we'll just keep going all the way around. And watch this. Look at this. I'm turning my the strokes so that they match the outside shape of the head. Is that cool? And then the yeah. fur looks like it's going around his head. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I gotta ask you some other questions. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen a chinchilla in real life? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have a pet chinchilla when I was a kid. Well, no, yes, I have. You yes, have? Yes. When, when did, where did you see it? The pet store. At the pet store, yeah, they're really cute. Now, I'm going to keep going. And this is a part that we might go really fast on. And so if you need time, remember you can pause the video. Now, I'm going to color around. Watch this. You can connect the bottom of the ear. Yeah, and then color around that, that little line. And I'm just going to keep going so that his fur looks like it's going all the way around his head. Now sometimes they have like the ends of their nose are white or pink and then their cheeks right here are white. So if you want you can color the fur and then as you get towards the cheek you can get lighter so that his fur looks like it's changing from gray to white. Is that cool? Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now on the ears, I'm going to keep going. That's all right. If you're taking a little extra time, I'm going to keep going. So his ears are super short fur. In fact, you can't even really tell what direction the fur's going. So if you want, just you can use long strokes to color the whole ear in. And then his fur is going to look really short, even shorter than. But you want to make it look <laughs> solid. You don't want the texture, the fur texture. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this ear. And now on the back of his, on the back of our chinchilla, I'm going to turn my paper and it will be a little easier. We're going to do the same thing that we did on his forehead. So we use short strokes right here. We're going to do the same thing. Watch this. I'll start in the middle of his back so you can see. I'm going to turn my paper and I'm going to do short strokes. I'm going to start really dark. And then as I get out to his belly, I'm going to get lighter. Is that fun? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to go around his whole body and we're going to fill it in. So, okay, so I'm going to do that while we answer some of our questions. We're going to fill in the rest of our chinchilla's body, answer a few questions, and we'll move to the tail. Mrs. Hubs is off camera and she's reading your comments. Is there anything hey cool guys. we can answer? Um. Let's get some comments or get some questions because I yeah, don't you guys, too many questions. You guys can ask us anything you want. We'll we'll try to answer them the best we can. You could ask us what uh, I don't know. We've we've answered a lot of a lot of questions, but is there anything that we you want to know about us? Um, Maria Hernandez is asking, "What's your favorite animal?" Oh, favorite animal is a cheetah. Mine's probably a cheetah. What? You can't steal cheetah. my okay, favorite cheetah animal. Or a also like a monkeys. Snake. A snake? You like or snakes? Any snake. You like cobra. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. I don't know you like snakes. Like a cobra. I like monkeys too. Monkeys are probably my second favorite. But monkeys are che awesome. Uh, cheetahs are, oh my gosh, they're so cool. I love watching those nature videos. Um, mm -hmm. So as I'm coloring in the chinchilla, I'm turning my paper. And that makes it a little easier so that you, you don't have to uh, try and make twist your wrist or get uncomfortable to fill it in. So I'm going all the way around and filling filling in the body. So here's another question. Killer Pony 256 says, how long have you been doing your channel for? Uh, how long has it been? Five years, maybe? Has, yeah, five years, probably. We get that question a lot. I think it's been five years. Um, the first time... Closer to six. Six years. Yeah, we're probably working on six. All right, now right here, I'm going to color in his arms just a lot like how we colored in his ears. So I'm going to color that in solid. 
Now, I do want to say that we did get a donation from Mitchell's Toys and Games. Oh, cool. He was telling us we had no sound. Oh, he helped us out. When we first got on, <laughs> when we first started, we didn't have any sound. So we donated, and then we were able to see. <laughs> we saw his comment right away. Well, we appreciate that. Well, I said he, but it could be a girl, too. Okay. Um, Anna Six Cat says, where did you come up with your YouTube channel name? Oh, the name? Art for Kids Hub? Mother. Well, mother? I, I don't know. <laughs> um, I, don't know. I, I, well, I, I love the name just Art for Kids because it was so simple and it's just, it's exactly what we do. I didn't want to do anything else. I just wanted to do art and I wanted to do it for kids. For my kids is what it started out. And then, uh, so Art for, art for Kids was, dot com was taken and I was trying to think of like another word I could put with the art for kids and hub means like the center or like the base or like it's where you go if you need art for kids so uh, i thought it just sounded really cool and the the url was available so that was a big plus <laughs> i was able to register it so i know that that's probably a boring answer but that's how we came up with it <laughs> <laughs> so I think instead of some questions, I want to know where all of you guys are watching from. This oh, yeah. It's always so cool to see where all of you are from. That's so. one of my favorite things is to see. I love it when we have people from all over the world. It's cool. And even here in Utah, I think that's awesome. Oh, while they're answering, I'm going to show you how we're going to color the tail really quick. The tails are longer. It, the fur on the tail is a lot longer. So watch this. I'm just going to do this really messy, long See how this is different than how we did yeah. up here? We did short strokes. Now we're doing long strokes. Okay, so where are people watching from? So Ferris, oh man, I'm gonna, I don't know your last name. If It starts with an I, sorry. It's from Pakistan. Whoa. We have Daphne from San Diego. Oh, cool. Brooklyn from Texas. Cool Gamer, oh, it just went up, hold on. Cool Gamer from, uh, I think they said San Diego. Uh, Heidi from Maryland, uh, Viper Game Pit from California, Puddle Jumpers from Illinois, <laughs> uh, let's see, Elena George from Washington. Wow, it's all over the place. Yeah, it's so this cool. Is cool. It's this is cool. It's always really neat. Yeah, I, and so I had a lot of people ask me, like, do I do local uh, art, um, art lessons? And I, I thought it would be really cool to do local. But I think it's even cooler to teach online because we get to make friends with people all over the world. I can't believe we have somebody watching from Pakistan. That's yeah. so neat. We've That's really got... cool. Now, I've added some pink. I added pink to his nose and also to his ear. And then I'm also going back over with the gray on top of that so that you just see the pink on the inside of the ear. We've got a uh, karma. Sorry, Phillips <laughs> from New York. Whoa, that's and, awesome. Uh, oh, New Zealand. Who's from New Zealand? No way. Somebody's from New Zealand. That's no great. way. All right. All right, Jack. Oh, you're still working on filling it in. <laughs> Keep going. Nice Keep going. I'm going to switch to my dark gray, and I'm going to add a darker layer on his back because usually their fur gets darker around the back, but it's lighter on the front. So I'm going to repeat the same step, but I'm using this dark gray and I'm going to layer on top. Now, if you don't have gray, you can use black, uh, dark gray, you can use black, um, but just press even uh, lighter. Don't, don't press very hard so that it turns black. So I'm just going to do these short strokes on top and look at that. It looks like his back is, is round and 3D. He looks so furry. I love it. All right. Anywhere, any other questions? Um, you know, I know it's different times everywhere, but we're about oh, to yeah. eat dinner. At I would five love to know <laughs> what everybody's eating for dinner tonight. <laughs> yeah. Or what did you eat for or dinner? Or what did you, if you already ate dinner, what did you or eat? Or maybe it's breakfast <laughs> so, time for you. And it could be. <laughs> what did you eat for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or, <laughs> well, yeah, what are we eating for dinner? We are curry. curry. Yeah, it's one of my favorites too. We're having curry. Oh, oh let's, with let's, rice. Let's see. Oh, chicken and rice from Wolf Lover. <laughs> Fish sticks, Mickey Harris. Pizza. Pizza. From 
Palmo Palamoa Ricardo. A mm, lasagna pizza. from Kitslam's art. Oh, this all looks good. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> okay, we're almost done, Mrs. Zubbs. I know, she's she's really hungry. I'm hungry too. I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to do uh, these at different times each day, and we wanted to just see if 5 o'clock was a good time for everyone. So let us know when when would work best for you guys. And it's really just going to be kind of whenever each day. So be sure to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe so that you get those notifications and uh, you don't miss our next live stream. So I'm adding the shading all over, and you can even add it up here on the on the ear, look at this. I'm gonna start dark on the ear and then I'm gonna get lighter as I get towards the front and that makes his ear look more round. Jack, you're doing such a good job, man. I know I'm going really fast. If you wanna color in his, oh, wow. yeah, color his legs in solid, his front legs, his, also his back legs. And I wanna know if there's anybody that has a pet chinchilla or ever had one, that would be cool to know. Also, leave a comment. Tell us what, what animal you think we should draw next. We always love getting your ideas on what you want to draw next. Also, be sure to, to uh, go to our YouTube channel and do a search and make sure that we haven't done it already. Because you may be waiting around for us to draw something and we might have already drawn it. And you could be uh, following along and, and doing that lesson even today if you, if you find it. All right, so I'm adding some darkness to his tail also. And sometimes sometimes we want a smooth texture, and so we'll go back over with uh, the, the first color and smooth it out. But because he's furry, we want to leave that texture and make him, look, make him look really soft. Oh, I'm almost done. Are you close? Close. Yeah, you're adding the tail in. It's looking really cool. All right, I'm going to add some shading up here on his arms and also down here on his legs. I'm gonna add a little shadow on his foot, his bottom foot. Oh, it's so much fun, I love doing this. Yeah. Shading is one of my favorite things to do when we're drawing because I think it, it really makes, I mean, if you, if you could go back and look at our drawing before we started coloring, it looked pretty cool, but now it looks awesome, all colored in. And we got our little sweeper, can't forget to do that. We're going to sweep your drawing. And now, all right, your, your drawing is looking almost done. we got to do one last thing. Right here on the front of his eye, we're going to draw a little tear duct that comes out and back in. And we can draw a tear duct on the back of his eye also. Look at that. And that just finishes off his eye. Looks really cool. You can, if you want, you can even add his other eye that's back here behind his forehead. Look at that. Draw a little curve that comes out of his forehead. And, it, and then color in the bottom part, but leave the top white so it looks like there's a reflection. Looks shiny. And now it looks more 3D. You can see his other eye on the side of his head. Good job. <laughs> you did awesome. Are you gonna add a little more shading? A little more fur texture down at the bottom? There we go. I think we did it. Yeah. Yeah, you did awesome. Jack, give me five. All right, what was your favorite part? Uh, the coloring. The coloring. That's, that's my favorite part. I love the fur texture. And you guys can use that same technique on any animal. Remember to use short strokes if your animal has, has short fur and long strokes if you have like the mane around a lion or like this tail you draw with long strokes to give it that long texture. Yeah. <laughs> now we're not completely finished with this drawing. It, what, what are we missing? The background. Yeah, we're missing the background. So we want to challenge you guys to finish your drawing by adding a background. You can draw whatever you want, but a lot like Isabella did with her spotlighted drawing, be sure to add color and, and something in the background. Maybe you could draw wood chips on the bottom. Yeah. You could draw even a cage, or maybe your chinchilla is out in nature. You could draw trees around it. That'd be really cool. Yeah. <laughs> and then after you're done, parents, be sure to take a photo of your child's artwork and then post it on Instagram so that we can see it. We want to see how their drawings turn out, right? Yes. And then what? they should use two tags. What's the first tag? At Art for Kids Hub. Yes, that will notify us and let us know that you've posted something. And what's the second one? 
Uh, hashtag AFKH challenge. Yeah, you have to cheat. That's yeah. okay. <laughs> if you use that hashtag AFKH challenge, that will let us, that'll make it easier for us to be able to find it. So the first one notifies us, tells us that you posted something, and then the second one makes it easy for us to go back and check out all your drawings. And then we'll also pick a lucky art friend and feature theirs and even spotlight it in our next lesson. We hope you guys had a lot of fun following along with us, and we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.